Hey guys, what is up? Okay, so today I'm starting the whole vlog backwards. I've already got an amazing lineup of clips for you guys, but one thing I forgot to do the intro. So it was so good, I just forgot to do the intro. Why? Just why? But I promise you guys you're going to enjoy this. We go to Scientology um, and we also go to Arundel, we go to the car wash. You guys can see, and yeah, peace. So here we are at Scientology. This is actually the manor of Scientologists. Um, I've just been researching it recently, and it looks pretty cool. Um, There's my mum. It was quite funny at one point. Um, the man touched uh, this leaf and said, It's alive. But uh, it, was, it was quite funny. So, yeah, I'm going to let you guys see the view. The reason I'm whispering is because it's so peaceful. So, yeah, I'll let you guys see. So guys, anyway, so this is literally the uh, manor. We're waiting in outside just to get a tour, because it would be pretty interesting to go inside and see what what's it what it's like inside. We've already visited um, that bit, the castle bit over there. We've already seen that inside, and it goes all all the way across. They do courses and studying. I think that's just an amazing sight, as you guys can see over here. Uh, lovely. A flower but yes yeah, it, it is amazing especially like to get this view it's just I don't know it's amazing I feel so down to earth right now I don't know it just feel amazing so yeah this is like a dream from a movie come true I don't know and it just it's so big and the thing, uh, they call it all a church and stuff like that and this is actually the one that John Travolta, John Travolta sorry, and Tom Cruise have been to many times in the past um, they come to this bit over here for all the uh, courses and um, they get to see everything literally and they're quite high up ranks within the religion I think that's what I've been told anyway um, but yeah if you guys are interested in courses, um, I don't know, I've just been asking questions. Um, I think it starts from like £37 or something, I don't know. Uh, guys, by the way, I'm not a Scientologist myself, I'm just inquiring to see what it's about and stuff like that. But th yeah, they are very open, very open-minded people, very kind, everyone's very happy. And this is the entrance to the manor. Still waiting to go in, but they keep it locked for security purposes, obviously. Um, if you're a Scientologist of a high level, I believe you're allowed in, and and if you work there, you're allowed in. Um, but And to like go and relax inside a pink, I'm not sure. But the creator of uh, Scientology actually came to the... It was living in this building for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, now he's passed away, but it is just amazing, as you guys can see. Anyway guys, um, yeah, let's go to the next clip. Okay, so what I'm about to show you is literally probably one of the coolest things you guys are going to see. Um, it is absolutely amazing, and I hope you guys like it. Alright, here it goes. It is an old jag. 1945, I believe. Okay. 
I think that shows it better when I go like this. And it belongs to Ron Hubbard. Ron Hubbard, yes, it belonged to him. As you guys can see, the... Wow. Look at the engine. Yeah, I'm gonna come, I'm just coming over. So it was, oh wow, it's got like a doctor thing. And obviously, as you guys can see, it says Scientology. And then you've got that doctor. So I think he's a doctor of Scientology because it's got the Scientology. Yeah, he's put the Scientology logo, I think, on the top. But as you guys can see, this is actually his old Rolls Royce. No, sorry, not Rolls Royce. Uh, Jack. I'm not sure, are you allowed in? No, it's locked. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to block off my reflection because I forgot to bring out my camera. Magnificent here. It is actually amazing. This, this was his house? Yeah, this was his house, guys. I was showing you guys earlier this, but um, honestly, this is amazing. Firstly guys, a little bit more information about where I went to. I'd like to firstly say I'm not a Scientologist. I was just curious to see what the religion is about and what they think and what are what's their views on life and what it's about. Um, however, it was definitely something, even if you're not religious and even if you're an atheist, I'd definitely say it's definitely something to go and look at. Wouldn't you agree, Mom? I think so, definitely. Literally, I think it's something, it, 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 even if you're not even that much into history, literally, it just broadens your mind. It just broadens your mind. Uh, they gave me a leaflet, uh, if I quickly show you guys this. Um, uh, it actually says that, two seconds guys, as you guys can see, it says, by the time this is out, hopefully you guys will be able to see about what's going on. On Saturday, the 9th of April, uh, 2016, they're holding a seminar at 6.30 in the Great Hall. It's only £15, and if you want to give a uh, £10 uh, advance donation, that's up to you. Because they're open, but I mean, it's it's something, I'm not going to go to it personally, because I don't think, um, I think I've, I asked way too many questions, so I think I got most of the answers that I wanted. Um, but I'd definitely say it's something to go have a look around, especially I think it'd look quite cool at night as well. If you guys can go to the manor, it looks so cool. You get to see uh, old grandfather clocks, you get to see brand new and all very very old pianos there's one very rare piano uh, was it John John Mellotron. no John something had it John John Ellis no, no um, Elton John Elton, has one. Elton John sorry and um, also Paul McCartney yeah has got Elton John one. Paul McCartney and also, and also Ron um, Hubbard had one and it's these pianos and what they do is they're called Mellotrons and they've got a recorded magnetic tape at the back that plays music like so and <laughs> that was just the radio just to try and prove but um, <laughs> and it plays music and what you do is you try and make a beat with the music so it was quite high tech for something that was so old but it literally is just so amazing but anyway I'm going I'm waffling on now so the main thing I wanted to say was Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you guys can go and check out uh, the Scientology Church. It seems pretty cool, uh, even if you're not into it's religion. Free it's, it's free to walk around, it didn't charge us anything. And Nothing, they give you a good and tour. And they give you a good tour, yeah, free tour, everything. So I recommend going, 
for definite. Um, and the monkey room is the most amazing. There are, there's paintings of at least a thousand monkeys on the walls with pastel colours. It's just gorgeous and all the tables are set for a tea party. It's insane. Uh, so Winston Churchill asked them to paint it. Some of his the actual child, his child was one of the ones who painted it. Uh, was it? Was uh, it? Yeah. His son. So, uh, so when so Winston Churchill's son painted it, um, and the politicians are painted as monkeys, um, and it's just <laughs> really amazing. It's so funny uh, and beautiful at the same time, and. Uh, the tables are set as for a tea party. Uh, they have functions there, weddings, funerals, memorials, birthdays, that type of thing as well. And I don't think you've got to be a Scientologist in order to rent the room. Um, but it's well worth going there. And by the way, AJ and I, we don't get a commission out of um, recommending it but it's one of the nicest places we've been to and it's absolutely lovely definitely and I agree with that and as just to um, establish something again um, emphasize on it we do not get commission um, but one thing I would like to say is what well, my mum touched upon the monkey room is lovely it was made by Maharaj um, but the artist was uh, John Winston, John Winston, um, uh, Sir Winston Churchill's uh, son, and it is just amazing to see how they did it. And um, you see photos of um, John Winston painting. So uh, they monkey, actually made, the, yeah, they actually made uh, Maharaj's wife. As by the way, Maharaj was one of the owners of a uh, castle at one point. Of a manor, sorry, and he was there ten years, and then it was um, passed down Ron to Hubbard. Hubbard. But the main thing is, they actually did Maharaj's wife as as a monkey, and the reason they did that was because Maharaj's wife said, "I want something that everyone will talk about over dinner." And she did. She liked the monkey idea. <laughs> she said, you know what, he made me look like a pretty good monkey. I like it. In not so many words, but still, she liked the idea. And I think it is one of the greatest rooms and it's still being talked about today. So obviously, John Winston did do a great job of doing what uh, Maharaj's wife wanted. So anyway, guys, I think, as I said, if you guys want to go, it's on Saturday the 6th of April. Nice. Uh, Saturday, sorry, the 8th, 9th of April uh, 20, on ten, at, uh, in 2016 and I hope you guys like it, it's on at 6.30, if you guys want to arrive earlier you can, I'm not going to be there, but I hope you guys like it and yeah guys, thank you for watching and vamos!